I just want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers who show up and show out every time I post a video. Liking, commenting, the notification crew, I really do want to say thank you so much. I really don't say it enough, and I just want to say that, so thank you. I am thanking you, and you are so appreciated. Today's video, girl. The drama saga continues with Kathleen, anything for views, light, and Jacqueline Hill. All right, girl, this should be the last video I'm gonna do about this whole drama, but who knows, girl, we'll see. Hopefully it is. All right, so the first video I did was basically talking about the drama when it happened. Second video, I brought up the situation, should Kathleen Likes do an apology video? This video is gonna focus on one or two things, girl. First thing being, girl, if you didn't know, this whole thing started when Jaclyn Hill and Kathleen Lice were gonna do a collaboration video at Jaclyn Hill's busted ass house, girl. So from what I know, first video was a get ready with me with Jaclyn Hill and Kathleen Lice. Cause everybody's just dying to watch that, girl. It was just, this is all worth the drama. The second video, no one knows what that was about. But video that's gonna be on Kathleen Lice's YouTube channel that was shot at Jaclyn Hill's house. So what I wanna know, since all the drama popped off, girl, do you think that the video should still be posted on Jacqueline's channel and on Kathleen Light's channel? Like seriously, if this was you, if you're Kathleen Light and this happened to you and that girl exposed you, girl, by Snapchatting you without you knowing, would you still want the video to be posted up on YouTube? Now, maybe a little shady, maybe a little shady, girl, but I just wanna know. Do you think it should be posted or not? I'm thinking maybe it should still be posted. I mean, you don't went through all this drama, caught all this commotion all over the world. Might as well post it. That's what you want to do, post it, girl. Post it and get the coin, girl. Post it and get the views. Anything for views, just go ahead and do it. Uh, but there's another people who are like, no, girl, I'm done. Do not post that video. We're not friends. I don't want to do it no more. Bye. Now, a lot of people have been saying that this Thursday, or possibly Wednesday, Kathleen Lyons will upload her video, her apology video. A lot of people have been saying that she might do it because she always uploads on Thursdays, or I think Wednesdays, one of those days, but she's gonna post her video, girl. So you already know when she does, my fat ass is gonna have something to say, so make sure you click the little notification bell at the bottom so you can hear my busted ass opinion. And this issue is something that we've talked about before on this channel. Jacqueline Hill Snapchatting everything, girl. If you're seriously having so much fun, why are you even Snapchatting? Just enjoy the moment and stop Snapchatting. We said this before, we said Jacqueline Hill Snapchats every single moment of her life and she just talks, 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 and everything's about her, 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 her. This whole Kathleen Light situation, poor, poor Kathleen Light, somehow it's all about Jacqueline Hill. It's like, girl, can it not be about you for a second, girl? Are you serious? Just stop, just. But who am I, girl? Who am I? These people just love to Snapchat every minute of their life. Just, you know, go ahead, Snapchat, girl. Just go ahead, Snapchat. Act the fool. So what do you think, like, all this stuff's going on right now? What do you think Jacqueline Hill is doing right now? And what do you think Kathleen Light's doing right now? Like, I asked that yesterday. I was like, girl, what do you think they're doing right now? Because so many people have said that Kathleen Light struggles with severe, severe anxiety, girl. And I don't know how she's gonna cope with all this drama and her anxiety. And that's why she hasn't been posting on Twitter and stuff like that. And I think like the main issue that people just, and this is me, I think some people just don't like Jaclyn Hill right now because she stopped doing what we, orig what we originally fell in love with her for. Jaclyn Hill used to do tutorials, girl. Sickening makeup tutorials. Granted, it was always the same cat eye, smoky eye tutorial all the time. Just different colors, but people loved it. You know what I'm saying? Just like Manny Amy Way. People love Manny Amy Way. He does the same copper eyelid, new lip, every video. His tutorials are pretty much the same. People love it. But what happened, and Nikki tutorials too. Nikki tutorials does tutorials. I mean, hello. But what happened with Jacqueline Hill, the downfall of Jacqueline Hill, is that she used to do videos, tutorials, makeup videos, and then she just stopped. Like she rarely ever uploads YouTube videos. And I'm thinking one or two things happened. One, she just lost passion for doing YouTube videos, which is totally fine. Or two, she made enough money with her collaborations with Morphe and and whatever that she's done. Like, girl, girl, I got these Becca checks coming in, cha-cha-ching, I don't need to do videos no more, bye. And so she just does them like every now and then. And so I told maybe, and so now she just, so now she's just doing like, you know, very busted little videos. And people used to love Jacqueline Hill for her YouTube videos and she just slowly stopped. And I think that's why people are getting upset about it. You know, sometimes you really love something and you do it for a while and you just like fall out of love with it. There was a time, girl, I used to love cheeseburgers. And then I just kind of like fell out, I just like stop loving cheeseburgers. Now I love pieces of match. 
I have picked all the time, girl. So maybe with makeup, maybe that happens with makeup. Maybe some people just really love makeup. They talk about it, do videos about it, and then one day they just slowly just stop. Oh, girl, but what I have noticed, girl, is busted ass Elf Cosmetics loving some Mac. Elf Cosmetics has this new thing called, it's called the 30 Days of Makeup, and Elf Cosmetics is releasing one new, brand new girl to the whole brand of e.l.f. One new item a day. So far, there's four items out right now. There's a brand new beauty blender by e.l.f. Some blushes by e.l.f. Some highlighters by e.l.f. And a brand new selfie brush girl. And they're like four, they're like $2, $4, $8. I'm gonna buy a few and then we'll review it here on this channel. If I get enough thumbs up, we'll do it, girl. But like really, like I love that. Like every day I'm literally going to the e.l.f. website to see what they posted brand new. The highlighters, I'm definitely gonna get. The blushes, I don't know. The beauty blender, eh. The brush, I think I might get that one too. We'll see. This palette, girl, right here, the one I did a YouTube tutorial video swatch about, whatever. This one right here is gone off Sephora's website. It was a limited edition thing and it's gone. So if you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you did it. There's a lot of people who are like really upset because they really wanted it, couldn't get it. They have literally hit the eBay market. These are on eBay for like $100, $150. I even saw one for $200. Brand new in packaging. I think, and this is just me, I don't think there's gonna be a restock on these. I really don't. If you think there is or you know something I don't know, put it down in the comments down below. But this damn mosquito palette, girl, I don't know if there's gonna be a restock on it or not. On eBay, people are price gouging at the house, girl, but I don't know. I, if, there, if there's not a restock, I will be shocked that I actually managed to just happen to get it on Sephora.com. Because usually, I'm like the last to get anything. Like, I never get anything that's limited edition. I try, I wait in line, or I, I'm that person, girl, who just never who never wins at getting stuff limited edition. So the fact that I got this one, and if it is a limited edition, girl. But you know what would have been crazy? Like, this is my PR, girl. Seriously, if Z Palette, that, just clock at the house, Z Palette, girl. If you don't know what Z Palette is, the empty palette that you can put your own little favorite pots of makeup in, girl, okay? So you can build your own palette. If Z Palette came out with something like this, and you open it, and there's nothing in here, but you can put your own pots of your favorite colors. And I have like, I have them right here. Look, I have all these little uh, pots right here. And these are from Bee Dumpling Cosmetics. Girl, I have them right here. I need to get a Z palette for it. And you can just put them in here and you can build your own palette because some people don't like these colors, girl. But if you have a sickening little compact like this and you can put your own colors in there, I think it will be a hit, girl. So... I think Z Palette needs to like step up their game and come out with some better looking Z Palettes because this is what we have right now. This is a basic Z Palette right here. You put your little pots in there. But if they actually had Z Palettes that were in the shape of really cool stuff, mind blowing. I also been noticing that Jacqueline Hill has been losing subscribers. She's not gaining that much. She usually gains about a thousand, maybe two thousand a day. Now she's getting like maybe four or five hundred a day, which is still a lot. But she's not gaining as much. So I think really people are unsubscribing for that little snake move she did. And I really do think that if Jacqueline Hill cares, which brings me to this conclusion. If Jacqueline Hill, seriously, it's like over YouTube and just tired of doing it and just doesn't have the passion for it. This is a way, this is a way for her to just exit stage left and stop making YouTube videos. For me, I don't know any, I don't have any inside information, but I just kind of feel like Jacqueline Hill is just kind of over YouTube and she doesn't really want to do it. I kind of feel like her passion for it is just gone. And if what I'm saying is true, then this, all this hate that she's getting because of the mistake she did with Kathleen Lights, girl, and she's getting all this hate, it could be a perfect way for her to just be like, you know what? Bye. And she just exit stage left and we'll never hear from her again. And then what are we going to talk about? And the makeup community be kind of boring at that point. Well, we still got other, well, we still got other people to talk about, but you know what I'm saying. But if Jacqueline Hill cares, if she really cares about her YouTube career and she doesn't want to give it up, you know, maybe she should try to win some of those people back and do a, a I'm sorry video or explanation or something because she did it on Snapchat. And like I always say, Snapchat is never good enough for the most people because they don't have Snapchat and stuff like that. But as always, girl, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you like the video, share it. Don't like the video, send it to your busted ass haters. So when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. All right, see so you next video. Peace. Hey guys, so I pulled over to show you some of the drama.
These are the cars that people will literally pull on the side of the road, try to open the vehicle and take whatever they can out and leave. There's a vehicle over there flooded out. So these people left their vehicles here because the vehicle got flooded and other people would just come and scavenge it.